Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Linux on a Chromebook. This is a great way to get the best of both worlds, the portability and ease of a Chromebook with the power and flexibility of Linux. The process of installing Linux on a Chromebook is relatively straightforward. First, you need to enable Linux in the Chrome OS settings. We can find this down on the bottom right hand side. If we select the clock, then hover over the gear icon and select settings. And then on the left hand side, we need to scroll down to about Chrome OS. And then from here, let's scroll down to the developer section. And here we have a Linux development environment. So let's go across to select setup. And now this wizard is going to guide us through the setup process. So let's start this by pressing next. Now we need to choose a username and set a disk size. For disk size, you can either select the recommended size of 10 gigabytes, or you can set a customized size. You may want to set a customized size if you're planning to install lots of bigger games on your Linux environment, but otherwise the recommended 10 gigabytes is absolutely fine. Okay, now let's press install. And just as it says here, this process may take a few minutes, so be patient, a good opportunity to go away and get a drink, and then when you come back, Linux should be ready to use. Fantastic, Linux has been downloaded and installed to my Chromebook, and this terminal window has been opened for me automatically. The first thing I'm going to do is just to make sure Linux is up to date. And we can do that with this command. So let's type this in together, sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get dist upgrade. And this will just update all of our installation packages on Linux on our Chromebook. Let's select yes to continue. And now these will be downloaded and installed. Perfect, so now we're ready to install some applications on our Linux environment. And I'm gonna walk you through a few ways you can do this. One way is to install apps on Linux using the terminal in front of us now. And we can do this using the apt command again. So for example, to install the LibreOffice suite, we would use the following command, sudo to run as an elevated user, then apt, install, and then the name of the app we're going to install, in this case, LibreOffice, which is a free open source office suite. This gives us a list of all of the packages it's going to download and install for us, and an estimation of the disk space that will be used after this install. So let's select yes and hit enter. And now let's give us a few moments while it downloads all of the packages for us and installs these. Amazing, so that's finished now. So now if we go down to our Chromebook launcher on the bottom left hand side, and in here you'll notice we've got a new Linux apps folder. And this is where all the Linux apps we install will appear in this folder. And as you can see, we now have LibreOffice available to us. So let's try launching this now and open up LibreOffice Writer. And here we go. Now we've got a full open source Office Suite running locally on our Chromebooks. I'm a big fan of Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, but LibreOffice, as it's a full desktop Office app, may sometimes come in useful. So a nice option to have. Okay, so let's close this now and walk through a different installation method. So let's try that now. I'm going to open Chrome and go to the Visual Studio Code download page. And from here, I'm going to download a .dab file, so a Debian file. Let's select and download this now. Okay, so it's downloading now on the bottom right hand side. Now let's select show in folder. And you can see here, it's been downloaded into my downloads folder. And now all I need to do is simply double click this file, press install, and the installation process will start on the bottom right hand side. So let's now give us a few moments while it sets up Visual Studio Code for us. 
Great, so that install has now finished. So let's go back to our app launcher on the bottom left hand side. Go to our Linux apps folder again. And now we should see, there it is, Visual Studio Code. So let's launch this now. And now we have a full desktop code editor running on our Chromebook in our Linux environment. So that's one example. Another example is, of course, playing games using Linux. And a good option here, if you're a big fan of Minecraft, is there is also a Minecraft distribution for Debian Linux as well, which actually works surprisingly well on a Chromebook. And I've got a video which goes into more depth on how you can set this up, uh, which should be appearing on the top right hand side now. So LibreOffice is one example of an app that works great on Linux using a Chromebook. And there are also many other apps. So apps like GIMP, which is an image editor, likewise Inkscape, Blender, uh, or VLC. So let's look at installing one of those apps now. So let's try installing VLC, which is a video player uh, for desktops. So let's type in sudo apt install VLC, hit enter. And now let's try launching this. So let's go to our launcher, open up the Linux apps folder and select VLC. And now we have a fully fledged video player running locally on our Chromebook. Okay, so we've looked at how to install apps into our Linux environment on a Chromebook. Now let's look at how we can access those files. As the Linux environment is installed in a separate container on your Chromebook. So we can get to this by going into the Files app. And then you'll notice on the left hand side, in addition to our normal downloads folder, we also have a folder containing all of our Linux files as well. So let's make a folder here and I'll just show you where this will appear within the Linux terminal. So let's just call this new folder in this example. And then let's go back to our Linux terminal. And if we type in ls, this will list the directories and files in our home folder and we can see our newly created folder there as well. We can also do the opposite and share our Chromebook files with the Linux environment. So to do this, we just need to go back to our files app right click the folder we want to share, go to share with Linux. Okay, so now we have one folder shared with Linux and we can find where this is listed by going into our settings. Go back down to about Chrome OS and developers and then select manage shared folders. And here it explains exactly where we can find our shared folders. So let's copy this and go into that directory now. We can do that by typing in cd, then the directory path, starting with a forward slash mnt, forward slash Chrome OS, and hit enter. And if we type in ls again, it will now show us our My Files folder. So let's go into there now and type in ls again, and we can see our downloads folder. And we can also see the Visual Studio Code Debian file we downloaded earlier into our downloads folder. Okay, there's one other thing I want to show you. So let's go back into the settings app now and come out of shared folders. You can also back up and restore your Linux apps and your Linux environment. So this is something I highly recommend doing if you're relying on using your Linux environment for development work or you just want to make sure you've got everything you set up backed up, which can be useful if anything ever goes wrong, then you can restore from that backup in the future. I generally do this about once a month and it's super easy. All I need to do is select backup, then choose where I want to save the backup file and press save and the backup will start. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, then please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.